It's always um, a little difficult, especially the newer boxes, because these are um, the 10th anniversary of Valuchis. So it's like a re-release of like Valuchis back from 2010. Like they are new, but the Yu-Gi-Oh is the same models. Model models, but but it's the same like like they use the same like molds, molds, yeah, molds. They, use, they still use the same molds for um, for the body and the head, and this not this year, but like it, these Valuchis were released two thousand twenty one for like the tenth anniversary, even though it's in two thousand twenty, but still. And two thousand twenty one was the first time for me sky for me sky. Um, I forgot a um, big Valuchis. Version. She was only released, I think, as a small, like, mini Valuchi that are this big. And she also had, like, a Netflix version of her, but those are smaller than the normal, like, floppy, big headed Valuchis. So, um, I'm gonna start off with the Stormy Sky right here. Um, open them up from, like, the back here. Because, um, like, you can reuse the, the box it comes in as, like, a little house for them. And you open them up, like, starting right here, it says, um, oh, you won't be able to see that, but it says, open here, and you, and you like, tear it. like a certificate, a, cer a certificate to show that the biology is like a real one. So yeah, just take that out. And this is the certificate. It comes on. It says Lalucci for me sky and it has the tenth anniversary little circle there. And then um and then it has like a little like like stormy sky thing you kinda color in. And it says, let me out. Like, she's not in here. This is, um, this only has, like, this only, this, um, certificate only comes with the instructions. And a little pieces to add onto the house, which I will go over later. After, um, oh, this one's gonna be a little bit damaged. The box is gonna be a little bit damaged, but this one didn't really have any problem, but it's, it's like, tape thing here. It's, like, it shows you the instructions, but I already know how to do this, so... So, um, I have gotten Stormy Sky's pet out of the box, so I don't know if you can see when I, sh I was showing you the packaging, but she does come, like, all of us, do come with, like, a little pet, and, um, this is her pet, sorry, he comes, like, with a little cat, and I think his, um, I think his name is Cool Cat, or something, but, yeah, we usually just call them, like, they don't really usually have names, they only 
I call them by like the animal they are, like cat, dog, you know? But this is a, I believe this is cool cat. He is purple, so you won't get to see him really well, but I'll give you a close up of him much later. Taken Stormy Sky out of the box, so let me see if it's there. He is Stormy, Stormy Sky. Um, one thing I realized from her is that her hair is very soft. Her hair is much softer than the others. I have multiple of these dolls, not the same character, but I do have a lot of these dolls, and her hair is um, very, very soft. Um, she has like um. She still has some plastic on her shoes, like, she has some plastic on her shoes, so you can see her here. I will be taking that off later so you can see them much better in some good light, but, um, she's, um, she's very wobbly, the thing about our little shoes, they're supposed to be, like, rag dolls, but they're plastic, and, um, she's wearing, like, a little, like, metal vest with a striped um, t-shirt and um, very sparkly like shirt and something I find interesting about La Luchis is that they have their um sorry this is weird but they have their like birthdays like right here so um her birthday is um the 7th and 29th the 7th and the 29th so I will like put that up like right here on the screen. So if you don't know how to like read it like that, because I'm not gonna start counting in front of here. So I will still try. I will like take better pictures of her at the end so you can see those better. Because right now it's really dark. Okay, that's Stormy Sky. I will now move on to maybe Blossom stuff, which I'm very excited to unbox. I hope she, her box isn't as damaged as Stormy Sky's box. Before I um before I move on to maybe plus and stuff, I would like to show you the actual packaging much better this time. So this is the packaging. I know you can't really see that well. I really apologize for that. But this is the packaging now that she's outside the box. They this um this is removable so you can connect the houses. As you can see there's um, some drums and some cabinets. I believe um like this packaging is from inside her van, because um, in the show where La Luchi, like on Netflix, um, it shows um, that she lives in a, like a van, so, because um, I don't know if you could tell by her, but she's um, she's like, she does music and stuff, so she's a musician, so, yeah, so I cannot show you the actual, the details and stuff, and, oh, but yeah. Now I'm going to show you like the extra pieces you can add on from like in here. So. This is um, a piece you can add on and stuff. I'll make it so you can see much, see it much better. But I believe this is um, Cool Cat. I think this is supposed to be a house for the Cool Cat because um, these La Luchis, like I said again, come with pets. And... And I think mostly all of them, they come with a little attachment like this, so 
You can um, attach like a little house for the pets to be in. All the Luchis also come with a poster. And yeah, this is a nice little poster. These are all the Luchis you can collect in the, the series. As you can see, there's, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I only have a few, and there's a backside of others you can collect that are no different, like the Tenth Anniversary Celebration, the Princess Tea Party, and the Silly Hair. So that's the poster, and is there something else in here? Yes, there is something else in here. She has um this piece of jewelry that um, attaches to the top of her house like um, a chimney so there's even a chimney right here and I'm not sure what this is I think this might be the roof for cool cat's house like I was talking about cool cat's house right here and um, then there's this part which I also don't know what this is um, I will build them here and show you how they look like after. Okay, so I now have like this roof, and I think this is a window for like the side of the house. So. Okay, so um, I am finished um, building Cool Cat's house, and this is how it looks like. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think I did this wrong because I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to connect this to the house. I'll probably just tape it on. But as you can see, like, I think this is where she's supposed to get inside of and stuff. So yeah. Also, I think I did this backwards. Oh wait, no, no. It just has the same pattern. Did I do it backwards? I think I did do it backwards. <laughs> oh jeez. It's fine. No one, no one will really notice. They probably just did it. But this is Cool Cat's house. I don't exactly know how he's supposed to stay here. I think he's, you know, this size and, you know, this house. He can't actually fit in here. So I think this is just more for a show and stuff than to actually be a house for the pet. I have um another, like, original. Because I have, um, two different versions of uh, La Luchis. Um, I have like a normal version, but now I have three of them. But like no, a normal version like this of her, but you know, a different character. And her house is pretty like, pretty good for like, for the pet she comes with, so. But yeah, I'm not really sure how cool pet's supposed to go in there. But yeah, I would recommend, Um, I have a silly hair La Luchis, like I showed, I was mentioning. These are the silly hairs. I have this one, which is April Sun Splash. I have April Sun Splash, and um, I could not like they all come with um like a certificate. They all come with like little cardboard pieces to build, but I could not figure out how to build her like cardboard piece. Like her cardboard piece is a chair, and I could not figure out how to build her. Nah. So yeah, I could not figure out how to build her house. No, not her house. I cannot figure out how to build her chair, but, you know, I'll see if I can do it again before I, um, before my next video, because my next video is also about La Lucy, so, yeah, don't, don't worry, I'm, I, not my whole channel is going to be about La Lucy, I'm just unboxing them, I'll show you maybe, like, my collection of them, hint, hint, next video, but, yeah, I will now move on to actually unboxing the Jinsel and stuff. So, Jinsel um, and stuff, here she is. Um, oh, something, they all come with like little things here. Something I forgot to mention is that 
they have this which shows when their birthday is and then we focus of birthdays on 21st of december and she was shown from a poetry scarf and her personality is warm and cuddly and her pet is a polar bear which i think you can already see her pet's already a polar bear stormy also has like the same description but this is in yeah, this is in the back right now. I don't know. The unboxing. I'm doing this fucking shit. Okay, so, um. Uh, this is Midden's Fluffin' Stuff certificate, as you can see. It says La Lupsy, Midden's Fluffin' Stuff, the 10th anniversary little stamp there. And then it shows Midden's Fluffin' Stuff, that you can color in, and it says, let me out. And I forgot to mention this with the other one, but it shows the instructions in the back. Oh, the cardboard little cross, yeah, it should um, be attached to the house, as you can see. You have to attach them to the house. And she comes with a much complicated, more version, because her, um, Oh, and she seems to connect to Dot Starlight's house. I also forgot to mention you could, I think I've mentioned this, but you can connect them to other Lulupsies, as you can see here. And from what I can see right here, um, you can connect um, Lynn's Fluff and Stuff house to Dot Starlight's house, which is another Lulupsie. And you connect them by the, by the bush and stuff. So, um, this is a Mid Fluff and Stuff pet, it's a polar bear, I don't really know Fluff and Stuff's pet's name, cause I'm mostly more interested in the dolls, and the characters, and the pets, but this is a um, pet, it's a little polar bear, a little tail here, and stuff, yeah, this is the polar bear, I've never actually had a bear before even though I have in the lot of teams that I had, should have a pet bear, but I got her at a swami, so she just she didn't come with her pet. So, um, I now have, sorry, I now have Minnie's Fluff and Stuff out of the box, and here she is. I do, um, her hair isn't as soft as, um, Stormy Skies, which is to be expected, I didn't really expect. But, her hair is squishy, but I feel like something hard in the middle, which is very interesting, because I didn't feel that with other dolls I have, so. But something I see that could be, like, a problem with her is that, she can't sit well, as you can see. Well, not a lot of she could well, sit well. Let me give you an example. She she really can't really sit well, but I don't know if you can tell, but her legs are floppy. Like, they move like that. Um, and stuff and stuff. They move like that, but they move together. And she could only seem to sit like this. So I think, because she has so many, like, um, but her outfit, you can tell that she has so many layers. She has like a skirt, and then some shorts, and then some pants, and then she has like a little vest, and like a long sleeve striped shirt. Um, so I think that does restrict her in her movements, like sitting down and moving her arms, because she does seem she does seem pretty stiff in that area. But I think it's just like with the clothes on, because she has so many layers on. Even though they're all like connected. But yeah, she does, she does give her some restrictions and how she can move. Let's do this one up again. This, it really does stop her at that point. Her arms, this arm is fine, but this arm is much harder 
you know. I just say her head, her head is not even wobbly at all. I think it's because of her clothes. Oh yeah, actually, no, it's not, even, it's not even because of her clothes. It's just her head is just not wobbly. See, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm shaking her and and her head isn't really moving. Unlike Stormy Sky over here, which head moves like oh geez, I can put it in there. Fine. But your head doesn't move a lot when shaken. So yeah, some dolls are gonna come a little bit more like like this one. This one's just this. They're like a little bit like plastic from like the molds and stuff. How they put her in for the head sculpt. The head sculpt for the head mold. But um, yeah, that's my first actually um pigtail doll. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but fun fact: when La Lucy's released, um, Disney's Love and Stuff was one of like the La was one of the La Lucy's that everyone wanted to get because blue hair was really popular. Blue hair dolls was really popular um during that time. I think I already mentioned that, like well when I was doing the speed thing and stuff. So yeah, so she has um she has some white bows. She has um black unbutton eyes and some pink cheeks and then she has like like i mentioned earlier she has a striped shirt a vest a, like a skirt and some shorts and these aren't these aren't pants these are these are leg warmers so as you can see you can take them off and it shows your leg she doesn't have painted on legs though so she has this she doesn't have painted on legs she has painted on she, she has painted on pants like um stormy sky so i'm just bringing her back again See her, um, sorry, see her pants, see, like, so her pants is, um, her pants is painted on with stripes, so, so that's the thing, I only have, um, I think, three, yeah, I think it's only three, yeah, I think I only have three La Loopsies with painted on pants, including these two, so yeah, it doesn't just make three, I have one, but now I have three. That will um, be the end for um, this video. I will show some pictures of you know them in better light so you can see them much better. And um, I will see you guys on my next video. Yeah, I don't know how to end this.